Okay, this story comes by Stephen A. Crockett Jr. at The Root. So, uh, the Broward County, Florida Sheriff's Union said that the Sheriff's Office should no longer escort Miami Dolphins to games until all members stand up for the national anthem. Hmm. Wow, funny how we live in such a free country, but... uh, People don't want us to have our freedoms. I, I don't I don't get that. But in any way, quote, I can only imagine the public outcry if a group of police officers refused to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or if we turned our back for the American flag for the national anthem. There would be a public outcry and internal affairs complaints a mile long on that, Jeff Bell, the president of the union, told the Miami Herald on Friday. Three Dolphins players, Arian Foster, Kenny Stills and Michael Thomas all kneeled during the National Anthem Sunday. I respect their right to have freedom of speech. However, in certain organizations and certain jobs, you give up that right of your freedom of speech temporarily while you serve that job or while you play in an NFL game, Bell said. Really? I've never heard that, that you give up rights. That's not what the Constitution says. What? Are you serious? It goes on. Foster told the newspaper last week that he will continue to ignore criticism against his protest. They say it's not the time to do this, Foster told the Herald. When is the time? It's never the time in somebody else's eye because they'll always feel like it's it's good enough. And some people don't. That's the beautiful thing about this country. If somebody feels it's not good enough, they have that right. That's all we're doing, exercising that right. That's right, Brother Foster. Keep telling. Dolphins owner Stephen Ross supports the players who have decided to take a stand against the over-policing of black communities. I don't think it was any lack of respect. I think everybody here, our team, and our whole organization respects the flag and what it stands for, and the soldiers and everything, he told the Herald. But these guys are making a conversation of something that's a very important topic in this country, and I'm 100% supportive of them. Yes, thank you. Plus, I'm sure that the millions of dollars coming in for these games plays a part in that support. But anyway, uh, the Miami-Dade Police Department, which provides security for the Dolphins games, told the Miami Herald that it will continue to do so. The department have contractual obligations with Hard Rock Stadium to provide public safety. The safety of our residents and visitors is our primary concern, the police department said in a statement viewed by the Herald. The Broward Sheriff's Office has not commented on the union's request not to provide players protection, the Herald reports. Well, if they're in a contract, um, I don't know how those contractual agreements can be broken, but if they're in a contract, it doesn't look like there's too much that they can do unless they uh, infringe upon that contract, which there might be a fine or something of that nature. So in any case, I I support these brothers. Um, And again, we live in a land with freedom of expression, freedom of speech, uh, and <laughs> those freedoms are constantly infringed upon when it's us, when, when it's, when it's black people. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, uh, if you want more news updates and information, please subscribe to at your My name is Yurima Karam at your black world news.